In this chapter, we will continue to use the powerful organizational tools in the library. Soon these tools will become second nature and you'll be able to quickly customize the library to suit your own unique style and workflow. Remember, as stated in the library introductory chapter, the library plays a key role in managing your elements for all types of projects. Whether it's a simple file transfer or complex editing project, you will find all your assets in the library. The library has quick tabs for convenient access to frequently used elements, such as media, projects, creative elements, or if you're using one of the premium versions of Studio, you also have collections. You can create your own tabs quickly. Simply click on the Add New Tab button. You will see that a new tab has been created at the top of the library and initially shows all of your library media. You can now click on any category in the tree at the left to select the media to display on that tab. If you filter the library using the rating, search, or tagging available in the premium versions, the filter will also be remembered for that tab. The same tabs will also show in the mini version of the library when you're in the DVD or movie editor. You can delete tabs by clicking the X in the corner of the tab. Organizing your library using tabs will save you lots of time later. If you're using one of the premium versions of Studio, you will see another way of gathering and organizing frequently used creative elements called collections. Let's start by clicking the Create a New Collection button. Let's name our collection. A new collection is created and is now waiting for you to fill it with various elements that you will use in your project. Let's drag and drop some items into our collection. We can now click on the collection and see just the items we have added. Studio includes hundreds of media and creative elements, including transitions, effects, and menus, and anything in your library can be added to a collection. Creating a custom collection is a great way to find and access your favorites quickly. All versions of Studio have a powerful feature called Scene Detection, which splits your video clips based on changes in the video. In the library, Let's select a video that has no scene detection yet. Video clips that have a slight drop shadow box have scenes detected already, like this video. This video clip does not. So let's determine the scenes on this clip by right-clicking and select Detect Scenes by Content. A process will start detecting scenes. You have a checkbox choice of showing the scenes in the library when the scene detection is completed. Let's not use this here yet. Once again, when the process is complete, you will see a drop shadow box on the thumbnail. Now let's show the scenes by right-clicking on the thumbnail and selecting Show Scenes. Or by clicking on the Scenes button on the Library Toolbar. The Library View will display clips that were created from your longer video. Once you are displaying scenes, you can open the player window and manually split the clip by using the razor tool at the bottom of the player window. Your scenes can now be added to a collection. Once they are in a collection, they can be corrected, rated, or named just like any other media. Remember, when you want to go back to the normal library view, close the Scene View window by clicking the Close Scene View button. You can also edit in Stereoscopic 3D. Footage recognized as 3D shows a 3D icon at the top of the clip in the library. You can also choose to filter your view in the library to only show 3D clips or creative elements by clicking on this 3D button at the top of the view. Clips and other elements in the library can be rated by dragging your mouse over the area at the top of a clip. To show only media with a certain rating, 
use the set of stars at the top of the library view. To use the powerful tagging feature, click on the Tags button. Here you can create tags and add them to your media or filter your library to show only media containing your defined set of tags. The search window allows real-time search capabilities of the library by using names or tag information. Let's type SKY. All files that have the word sky in the name or tag will be filtered and shown in the window. Click the Clear Active Filters button to close the filtered view. Anytime you are limiting what you see in your library, you will see this orange bar appear at the top of the view. Click on the X to see all your media again. Click the I button on a clip to see important information about your clips. Here you can also add comments, edit tags, or change the name of the clip in the library. Keep in mind, your media on the hard drive will keep the original file name. This is important since you may be using it somewhere else. With premium versions of Studio, you can choose to view your items as thumbnails or as a list at the bottom of the library. You can also decide which indicators you want to show on your thumbnails by selecting them on this pop-up list. The Studio Library workflow speeds up media organization and keeps the creative juices flowing. Hello, I'm Paul Holtz from Class On Demand. This introductory chapter gave you a quick look at the creative power and flexibility of Pinnacle Studio 16. If you'd like to learn more about creating your movies with award-winning Pinnacle technology trusted by millions of users worldwide, then order your copy of Class on Demand's complete training for Pinnacle Studio 16 on the Pinnacle website. On behalf of Pinnacle and Class on Demand, thanks for watching.